All right, we're back again. I told you I was going to have another uh, uh, handy rifle. This one is in 243. It's another NEF, New England Firearm. And we'll go through that again. Uh, NEF got bought out by H&R. H&R got bought out by Marlin. Marlin got bought out by Remington. Remington dropped them. Anyway, all right, so what this one is, this is a youth model which means it has a 12 and a half inch pull, has a 20 inch barrel, so the overall length on it is only 33 inches. So let's go ahead and uh, show you that uh, it is empty. There's no bullets in it. Uh, I've got this one topped off with a uh, Vortex uh, Diamondback 3 by 9 uh, tactical scope. Uh, what I like about it is uh, it's super light. Like I said, it comes in at uh, uh, I think six and a quarter pounds. Uh, the gun itself, I think, is five and a quarter, and then with the scope and the mount, add another pound to it, so it, it takes it to six and a quarter. Uh, but this one also has the iron sights. So if you're out somewhere and something happens to the scope, uh, you can remove the scope and you still have iron sights. Uh, they are great little guns. Uh, you do have to have a uh, hammer spur on it like you would with a 3030, so you can get up underneath there. But it is a compact little gun, and uh, when I uh, have a carry strap on it and I'm walking through the woods, it's actually about the same height as the top of my head, so I'm not getting it caught in the uh, the branches and the, uh, the tree limbs and stuff like that, uh, where it's uh, catching on everything. Uh, it is plastic. It's got a nice little buttstock on it, and uh, it works great for two and two forty three for deer. Uh, I actually reload for this one, and I'm shooting a uh, seventy seven grain. And uh, it's grouping about uh, half to three quarter inch at 100 yards. When uh, the weather breaks, we're going to take it to the range and uh, we're going to put it to the test, see how accurate my memory is on that. Uh, and like I said, they are great. And the good thing about these handy rifles is they do, they lock up tight. Uh, this one does have the extractor. Uh, some of these models, uh, when you break them open, they just open up and then you can, it just pushes the casing out far enough that you can take your finger and get a hold of it, and some of them really shoot it. Uh, this particular model will take an empty case and shoot it back about 12 feet. Uh, so uh, if I, since I do reload, uh, I usually, when I break it down, I turn it into me and do it so it whacks and falls to the ground so I can pick it back up. Uh, These little h and handy rifles, they made them in rimfire, which was 17 Mach 2s, uh, 17 HMRs, 22, 22 mag, and then when you got into the uh, uh, center fire, it's uh, 22 Hornet, 204, 20, 223, 22, 250, uh, you know, straight wall cases. 44 mag, 357 mag, uh, 500 Smith & Wesson. My last video was a 45 Long Colt 410 survival model. Uh, so there's plenty of them out there, and you can usually pick these up. Uh, I've, I picked up a 22250 at a gun show for $158 uh, about five years ago. This particular model was a little more expensive. Uh, it come without the scope, but since it was a youth model and it did have iron sights, I think I paid $240 for it about three years ago. Uh, but if you look at some of my videos, you'll find I have these in 4570, 500 Smith & Wesson. Uh, I don't know if I had the video up uh, where I used to have one in a uh, 280 Remington. 
So, I mean, your calibers, I mean, there is a ton of them. If you get on some of the websites and look, and, I mean, they are cheap, uh, cost-wise, but quality-wise, I mean, these are some really great rifles. And uh, a lot of times you can buy the barrels, and sometimes you don't have to do any modification at all. Sometimes they'll just slip right in, uh, as long as you do... Uh, rimfire to rimfire, uh, rifle to rifle, uh, and shotgun to shotgun. Uh, sometimes you might have to do take it to a gunsmith, have him do a little bit of filing on it. Uh, if you're a little bit of a gunsmith yourself, you can get it to fit. Uh, but you know, if you don't want to take the precautions, take it to a gunsmith, have him fit it for you. It's not that expensive because it's pretty close to being there the way it is and there's probably oh I'm just gonna guess and say 25 different calibers that you can get these things in and the good thing is is uh, uh, down the road here we're gonna do some videos and I'm going to uh, show you uh, some that uh, are pistol calibers uh, which are really great for uh, deer and hog and stuff like that and uh, I'm actually going to eventually show you some other pistol caliber rifles like uh, the Marlin SBL uh, 1894C which is a 357 mag uh, compact ghost ring sights laminated stock if you look on my channel you'll find its big brother the 4570 in it this is more of a compact version with a 16 inch barrel versus the uh, other uh, and uh, we're going to get into these as the weather breaks hopefully I'm going to have a lot more time this year uh, I'm working a little less uh, but I have been working a good bit uh, so far this year I'm hoping it's going to break when the weather breaks Okay, keep tuning back, and uh, I'm going to catch you guys, and uh, we're going to have a great year with these things.